Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Independent Communication Authority of South Africa's mobile termination rate cuts aimed at reducing South Africa's cost to communicate are being contested by telecommunications giants MTN and Vodacom. Natasha Urendahl joins me in studio to discuss the latest developments. Hi Natasha. Hi. The MTRs are once again a hotly debated topic amongst the mobile operators in South Africa. What sparked this? Well, in January, CASA decided to implement the revised termination rate glide path. They wanted to bring down the termination rates between the operators even more, by half this year actually, from 40 cents now to 20 cents um, in the next few months. The asymmetry rates were quite aggressive that they had implemented, which means the smaller operators would get to actually charge the bigger operators, such as MTN and Vodacom, 44 cents right, coming in March. And this is actually what sparked the hot debate because the big operators say this is just too aggressive. And what do MTN and Vodacom say further about the issue? Well, they don't really want to say much at the moment except that they think they're subsidizing the small operators. And in fact, they've actually now taken a cost to court over this. Now, while lower termination rates would heavily impact MTN and Vodacom, They've taken ICASA to court over the process ICASA has actually chosen to determine the new rates. And what do the smaller operators have to say? The smaller operators um, have been pretty vocal about um, MTN and Vodacom's opposition to the MTR rates, the cuts in them. And they've sent out letters, open letters, to the media criticizing their move. Even the Right to Know campaign and Minister Karim have come out saying that Vodacom and MTN need to halt their court action because this is not helping South Africa lower their communications cost. Um, MTN and Vodacom, on the other hand, are actually saying that lowering the termination rates have, they have no direct link at all to lower costs in, in South Africa. The dominant players are actually saying that it's more of a subsidy for the smaller operators, whereas the smaller operators are coming back and saying that Telcom had subsidized MTN and Vodacom, helping them build their networks over the past 20 years. Telcom has even said that they've spent, well, it has cost them over 50 billion rand in the past two decades. Vodacom said that it supported the lower termination rates, but with asymmetry rates that are four times higher than what MTN and Vodacom will be charging um, Celsi and Telcom would not actually help lower the rates. They're questioning the thinking behind it and both the bigger operators have actually now called for ICASA to just review their cost-based structure, um, do a review on it and see how else they can lower the rates in South Africa. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.